Now, brace yourself, people. Can men give birth? Simple question. Uh, on an NHS-sponsored podcast, a nurse claimed not all people who have babies might call themselves a she or a woman or a mum. Going on to say, while reviewing teenage pregnancy documents, she noticed some of their language was incredibly gendered. Huh? So I want to know, it's simple. You know, we've done, can men have penises? Now, OK, can women have penises even? Um, can men give birth? Um, I'm going to come to you, Amy, on this one first. Um, uh, this is, I get quite annoyed about this subject because I do believe women's health can suffer because of the confusion about language in healthcare. Men can't give birth, can they? I will agree with you that women's health is suffering. And on the whole, maternity services are terrible at the moment. So it's pretty dangerous for anyone to be giving birth. But it is also true that there are some men who choose to have children, who choose to get pregnant and have children. There's, um, a, man, choose to get pregnant. there's a man called Freddie McConnell, uh -huh. and he made a film called Seahorse, which is about his journey as a legal man um, having a baby. And, and I think, if it, you know, when you, when you say the question, can men give birth, of course it sounds instantly absurd. It does. And I think it's framed that way, isn't it? It's, it's like the whole, old oh, can a man have a, have a penis? And it's designed to make you sound silly and How eccentric. did this guy have a However, baby? However, these people do... These people are very, very few. Hmm. This is how Kistama got in all that, all that trouble, isn't it? Because he was like... Oh, yeah, oh, by oh, being oh, a bit but, confused but, but about... But, but, it, but it, it's, it's not true to say a man hasn't given birth because Freddie McConnell... Is a man how by did law, he, how did he and have he gave a, birth. How did he have a baby? Did what was implanted so into his body? There's a biological woman to start with. Yeah. So there's a woman transitioned. So according to the 2004 Gender Recognition Act, he's now a legal man. Thus, you know, Dawn, humans are complex. Humans are mm. humans. So are he, he was a legal man, but not a biological man. Is that right? I mean, he had transitioned. He yes. had transitioned. So, so he was a biological male. And there are a lot of people... to be a woman and gay birth. Yes, there are so a lot he of wasn't a biological do, male. Well, not a lot. There's actually not. Because there's, there's a vanishingly small number of men who mm. choose to have children, who choose to use their reproductive organs that they, they have kept post-transition to give birth. Yeah, but biologically, a man can't give birth, can he? I mean, is that the question? Well, the question is straightforward. Can men give birth? Well, and a biological man can't give birth un unless he goes to some clinic in Switzerland and they reconstruct uh, his body. But, you know, that, um, that example I give of, of Freddie McConnell, in, in every respect, mm. he's a man, right? A he's, transitioned, he's transitioned to a man. The law recognises him as a man. Um, so but bi not biologically. There's, there's a huge well, bio difference biologically, he's, trans uh, he's a transgender man. Right. Biologically, he's a man who has tran a, a who's transgender gone, man. Tra so, yeah. so, if we wanted to complete the sentence, yeah. transgender this, men see, this can is give my birth. issue with this, right? Okay, but this is where it gets confusing because Freddie and I've worked with Freddie and is a lovely person. Okay, but was born female, mm. transitioned to become a man. Now we're getting confused about who's transitioning where and what you call them. Mm. Now, imagine I, I was saying earlier on, I live in Tower Hamlets, and a lot of the healthcare notes there are written to be gender neutral. There's a lot of women in my area who don't have English as a first language. It's confusing for us. This is my issue with this. I think women's healthcare is suffering because we are afraid to use the word woman. Mm. <coughs> I saw a great interview this weekend. I can't remember which colour magazine it was in. But it was Sharon Davis, the um, swimmer, mm. who has campaigned endlessly to try and stop biological men entering women's world of sport, she, OK? She, she's, tr she's campaigned to erase trans rights and to prevent trans I, women I, I, from, I d from partaking I in sport. I don't believe so. I think she's tried to protect women-only spaces well, from, fr from men. I mean, look, she, she, she's, she's got a, a point because she could have been an even greater Olympian had she not been beaten by somebody who, to this day, she believes was not fully a woman that she was racing against. But the point is, she interviewed Caitlyn Jenner. And I think Caitlyn Jenner is one of the most sensible voices on the planet about the trans issue because she's very famous. She's not at all militant about it. She tells it as it is. And she does say a trans woman is not a man.
Uh, uh, sorry, a, a trans man is not a woman. It, 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 and it will get complicated. Get, you yeah. already get mixed yeah, up. No, but words, she they... says a trans. I, I read the interview. It's very interesting. A trans man cannot be a woman. Now, if she says it, I think that ac- absolutely defines it. And instead of anybody, you know, wanting to accept that, they go off into literally reams and reams and reams of cross talk and well, this really. and that. And I just listened some to of the, the arguments that you put in. Jenner. Hmm? Like Freddie McConnell's passport says mail on it and that's that's all that, that's as simple as it is to me. That that person, the law, the the country, every every experience that he has in this world is male and he also had a baby. Yeah, but any, and that's, anybody who wants to... And, and at the time, he did get... Um, he said he fell out with, um, I think it was one of his parents, because they said, but surely this is the most feminine, womanly thing you can do, mm. to, to have a baby. So they felt like it was at odds mm. with the masculinity. And, 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 and it actually completely fractured that relationship. And he said, the desire to be a parent is completely separate to your innate mm. gender that you feel in your identity that is so immutable yeah. and something that you just cannot change yeah. um his desire to be a parent put that up put that they were separate yeah were separate. amy where do you stand so, you know even he's admitting that it's it's quite a confusing yeah. concept but where do you stand for instance um, for the on law, the women's for, changing room but, issue you know um, should, should, on, should, but should, i just want to take about this because i saw an article yeah. um i had kept in my um understand i kept a, a, a newspaper from 2001 right but um it was something that i cut out and on the other side it was from the sun and this was 2001 and it said Lesbian couple have baby. This is mad and outrageous and impossible. Mm. And it was all the things we say at the moment about trans men giving birth. And I thought, this is what it is. We're just taking a while to catch up. And really, in that, in, in 2001, you, you imagine, oh, we've, we've always been progressive about same sex couples. We really weren't. We really weren't. And the rhetoric around trans people now is similar to that around same sex parents in the noughties. I don't agree with that. I think there's a huge amount of uh, uh, acceptance, understanding, tolerance, but I just can't... When somebody asks me a question, can men give birth, I can't say how anybody can possibly answer in the affirmative. It seems counterintuitive, that's why.